guys, Supercar Blondie here. I am literally hunting the world for unicorns. Oh, one of them is right behind us there. We're in Germany. Literally just flown in to show you this car. It's gonna be worth it. Take a look at this. This is the Audi AI race. Check this out. Take a look at the headlights as they go on. We all love lights, right? Come on. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, look at this. Look at what is happening right now. The chair is moving towards you. So this whole area comes towards you so that you can get in better, right? So let's just hop in. No, hold on, Alex, hold on. This is way no. more comfortable. Oh, really? Okay, look, how look, do you do it? Look, <laughs> Wait. it's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it has a door <laughs> to the seat. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot easier. Thank you very much. Okay, that's slightly embarrassing. I was gonna climb my way in. This is gonna be much easier. All right, there you go. There you go. Oh, what? I didn't think it'd be that practical. Sometimes you have to really climb in over the top of these cars to get seated. So there you go. You just close your little door to the seat, which I've never done before. That is kind of cool. So it's just magnets here that put it in place. Okay, I think I'm ready to go back to the center. <gasps> what? That is pretty damn cool, you guys. Now you're in a single seater car. The reason why they've done this is because they want you to be able to use this car for two purposes in future. Number one, racing around a track. So you've got center position, perfect racing position to be able to do that. Or if you wanna drive it and be more practical about this car, you can actually move the chair back to the left. Let's actually move it back. Can we move the chair back to the left side? Okay. Okay, <laughs> so now that it's on the left side, the seat, that actually makes room for a passenger. So there's a passenger seat and you can put your seatbelt on here and you just kind of lie down in this seat here. Wait, I wanna get in. You wanna get in, huh? Yeah, here, can you hold? Yeah. Obviously when this car is actually a real car, this door will open. Um, but at the moment it doesn't, so there you go. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I've got my seatbelt here and everything. Oh, this is actually quite comfy. And here behind us, this is all room for storage. So it's like a combi, basically. It's like a- Station wagon. Station wagon. Or there are several names for it. Shooting brake. It's like an extended version of a hatchback. So you've got lots of room here in the back, which is kind of cool because it's practical, but also it's made for the track at the same time. Here you're able to uh, play with the spoiler, either lower it or make it higher, and also the rear diffuser. Okay, come look at this. You see this? This is a see-through display so that you can see when you're driving on the track, what turn is coming up and then what will happen on screen is it will display the perfect line to tackle that corner. So you can kind of like learn from the car how to be a professional racer. We're actually going to take this car out for a drive, so hang around to see that. This car does move. Its fictional stats are that it has 500 kilometers of range and zero to 100 they'd be looking at around two seconds. It is a fully electric car. So they've got three motors, that's the idea. One in the front, two here in the rear, one for each wheel. This is what would happen with the spoiler. These two parts would come in together and meet here and then it would be small enough to fit neatly into this space here on the side. The other thing is, is that this whole rear diffuser can move 
in order to increase the downforce. All like normal braking will happen from the electric motors. So once you take your foot off the accelerator, it will automatically brake. But for heavy braking or extreme braking, for example, when you're driving on the track, it does have ceramic brakes. You might have noticed these are visible, the suspension here. And this is like the same suspension uh, system that they use on racing cars, like in the F1. You'll usually see them, they're actually exposed. And they do that in order to save space. This here, why it's uh, fully open through that see-through display, right through the bottom of the car onto the road. And that's so that you can get a better look at what you're about to approach when you're on the track. So your turns and your corners and your apex line and all of those good things that you want to concentrate on when you want to get around the track as quickly as possible. This actually stood for Pebble Beach. 2018 because it was launched last year at Pebble Beach but now that it's been launched they've changed its name its official name now is the Audi AI race all right let's take it for a drive you ready wait before you close the car door I need to close my seat door first future of Audi racing. Actually not really racing, this is just, no, it's not a race car, it's just made for use on the track as this well as on the pitch. road. There you go, the AI race on the track. Um, the way that Audi is going in future, basically they don't want to keep creating cars that are built for every single purpose. Like for example, the Q7, like it's big, you can fit your whole family in it, it's luxurious, you can also take it off road, you could probably also drive it on the track. So it's like multi-purpose. What they want to do is create cars in the future that are specific for one purpose. So this is the race car, of the future from Audi, like the one you'd use on the track. Then they have another one that is like the runabout city vehicle that's autonomous or you can drive it yourself. Then they have another one that's like the off-road version. You're gonna see a whole other YouTube video on the off-road version. And then they have one that's fully autonomous, really luxurious. You sit down, you have full like entertainment screen inside. So that's the vision of Audi for the future. And we have just seen their vision of like the track focused supercar. Right, I hope you liked it. Give us a quick thumbs up on the video. Let us know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe to my family if you haven't yet. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Massive thank you to Audi for arranging this for us today. You guys rock. Really appreciate you. Thank you. I think that's it. We're out. <laughs>